Welcome back to Varnberg Implement, and it is freezing cold out here at Varnberg Implement today. We've got ice on all the tractors, we got sub-zero temperatures coming, and we got something to talk to you about. We had to get out here. One of the things with compact tractors in a lot of places in the country is you use them during warm temperatures in summertime, and then you get ice or snow and you need to use them in the winter, but you've still got summer fuel and the tractor won't run. On big tractors, a lot of them have sensors with uh, engine fault codes, and one of them that is very popular, if you get an E94 in our large tractors, that's thick fuel. And what thick fuel is? It's gelling fuel, or one of the things that happens with diesel fuel, especially number two diesel, is in cold temperatures it gets thick or builds paraffin, paraffin wax flake from the refinement process. What they use up north is number one diesel, or if you look at your pump station, like in Missouri, typically around November 1, they start selling winter blend fuel. That's a mixture of number one and number two, and it has a lower dropping point. It won't gel to about uh, five below zero. It's good to, to use. But what happens if you've got summer fuel? Well, one of the things is visit your Agco, your Massey Ferguson dealer and Agco Parts has winter anti-gel. But the thing is, when it gets this cold, it doesn't flow out in the tank and mix with the fuel. You need to do it when it's above 40 degrees. And if you look at this chart, you will see that Massey Ferguson's, the, the Agco Parts product, the D-Max Parts product, only takes one ounce to treat a large volume of fuel compared to some of the other products on the market that take a lot of product or as we we look at it is you have a lot of carrier or base product in there really not doing you a lot of good this is a hundred percent good anti-gel product taking care of your equipment it doesn't have a lot of petroleum distillates and other things that, that might affect the diesel protect diesel exhaust systems of some tractors uh, or the high pressure fuel system. So check out the, the amount that uh, this little bottle will treat in the per ounce pricing. Uh, one ounce I think treats like 16 gallons. I have to don't have my glasses on here and it's too cold to run back inside. But the chart shows you. Uh, you get more active ingredients so it does a better job and it's safer on your equipment. This is the approved by Agno Service to work with your Massey Ferguson tractor. But what happens if you get caught? Well, if you get caught, no problem. Echo has it taken care of. The D Max Winter Thaw. This is a anti. This is a gel fuel solution. You put it in the fuel. Uh, you can take off your fuel filters, put some in the fuel filter. This will actually break down gel fuel, so you can get back going. This isn't a protectant, this is a emergency fuel treatment to get you going again if you get stuck with gel fuel and you need to get that tractor moving. Agco Parts Fuel Filter. I hear people saying, oh, I'm going to go to an aftermarket. These fuel filters are designed to work with your engine with the right amount of protection. They have got, I can tell you what, Agco Fuel Filters are probably got some of the most stringent specifications as far as fuel filter design and one of them is to keep the dirt and and particles out of your these fuel systems nowadays with high pressure fuel direct injection and the precise way that they blend, that they inject fuel you need to use a high quality fuel filter and Agco parts offers that for the they're the official parts genuine parts for Massey Ferguson don't don't try something cheaper because it's what's inside that really matters. These are like a 10 micron, so they're super, they catch super fine pores to make that injection pump last longer. We've been in the service business since 1952, and we've seen premature problems happen because people don't use the correct parts and filters instead. One of the best things, and one of the things I'm going to get on people, if you cold start an engine today and you don't need to, that is one of the stupidest things that you can do because you can quickly wear an engine out. 
it's that oil retention and that stuff. If you need to start an engine on a cold day, invest in a coolant heater. This screws in your block, plugs into a 110 outlet, and it warms the engine block, the coolant in your engine, which is going to warm the engine block and make everything flow easier. Man, the, I see videos on Facebook and YouTube and all over the place of people cold, cold starting engines and then rev the heck out of them. That's the hardest thing you can do. If you don't have to start that engine on a cold day, don't. But if you need to, invest in a coolant heater to warm that engine up or put it inside where that engine's warm and your fluids are warm so it makes it easier for that tractor to start and run properly. and go to our Tractor World Information Resource. It's a message form, and we've got a lot of information there from fuel suppliers, from the manufacturer, on how to take care of your